If you're looking for a way to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies using the GPU on your own PC, then today I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can do so using Kudo Miner. Now, Kudo Miner is one of the best, in my opinion, Bitcoin mining software out there. You can utilize the GPU on your computer um, and it's easy to install and set up and get running. Um, it's perfect if you have a PC with a GPU in it and it works great if you have a mining farm um, which is having multiple computers with gpus or even just multiple gpus on one computer um, if you have a miner rig it works great because you can manage all of them on the go and there's even a kudo farm that you can utilize or even the kudo os um, that'll work seamlessly with the gpus that you have running on your desktop computer or mining rig and so um, it also works great if you have an internet cafe um, with a lot of computers that are running idly and that you can go ahead and utilize the GPUs to earn a nice passive income um, in Bitcoin or the cryptocurrencies. And last of all, if you're a gamer um, and you're not always on your computer, um, this is a great way to take advantage of the efficiency of your computer and mine bitcoin other cryptocurrencies when you're not using it so all you have to do is go to the sign up and download button right here and create an account with kudo miner and after you do so you will be taken to the kudo miner dashboard where you can go to devices go to connect a device and here you will select the type of worker you want to set up so if you're using windows um, select your operating system here uh, if you're using Ubuntu, Linux, Mac OS, or Kudo OS, which is a Linux proprietary Linux version um, of Kudo OS that you can use if you want to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, specifically using Kudo Miner. And they also have a worker for ASIC miners. So if you are using your own customized um, Bitcoin miner, you can download that and go ahead and set it up for mining Bitcoin. So I'm actually using Ubuntu Linux. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Um, here you'll be given your organization name. Uh, you can use to log into the Kudo Miner app. Um, you'll need this, go ahead and save it. You'll need this for when you start up the Kudo Miner. Next, you're gonna to want to install Kudo Miner. Um, for me, I already have it installed on my system, but Depending on the operating system that you're using, it's going to vary as to how you are going to install Kudo Miner. Um, if you're using Linux command line, you can go ahead and run this command on your terminal, and then you'll have the Kudo Miner installed um, within a few minutes. And so make sure that your NVIDIA or AMD GPU is up to date and has the most recent driver that you need so that it runs correctly and as efficiently as possible so make sure all of your drivers are up to date and once you're ready with all that go to continue and now you should be ready to go you can go ahead and manage your kudo miner console from the devices page here as you can see I have one Kudo Miner running. Um, it's my desktop right here. So if you go ahead and go to the Kudo Miner um, dashboard, you can see that right here um, I am able to enable the Kudo Miner software and it's going to start mining Bitcoin um, using my CPU as well as my GPU and it's going to take a moment to start up here but as you can see the hash rate um, generates automatically and displays exactly in real time how much bitcoin um, you're mining at that specific moment so you can also go to the advanced settings and make sure that you have the right workers running and enabled for each cpu or gpu that you are using so if I go to the NVIDIA GPU that I have, um, you can select the type of miner workers that you want to run. You can go to 
default hardware settings and you can um, enable a few settings if you really want to and you're really computer savvy such as overclocking um, you can mess around with the GPU power limit um, if you want to say power um, you can optimize your memory and even optimize the fan speed of your GPU to keep it cool so that it doesn't overheat and stays running constantly I like to recommend going to settings and going ahead and pausing the GPU miner um, when you're not using the computer um, when you're not using the computer then the miner will run if you're using the computer then the miner will go ahead and pause so if I go ahead and tick that then as you can see the good old miner will stop um, because I'm here using the computer if I go ahead and activate it when a computer is being used then the the miner will go ahead and mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies um, on your behalf even while using the computer so keep in mind that this can slow your computer down and it will um, affect some of the resources that you're using on your computer but however if you're only using your computer for um, let's say word processing or browsing the internet you should be fine and you can keep the miner running all day long and so I would recommend going through all the settings yourself and making sure that they work perfectly and are tuned to your system requirements and from there you should be set you can check out the Kudo Miner dashboard here um, it'll show you the stats in real time of what your miner is currently earning in millihashes and kilohashes and if you go back to the Kudo Miner dashboard you can see the workers that you have running um, as you can see uh, I have one worker and the cool thing about Kudo Miner is that you can select the specific type of cryptocurrency that you want to earn so not only is there Bitcoin but there, you can also choose between um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Algorand and Monero so if you want to let's say mine Bitcoin um, you can choose Bitcoin if you want to mine Ethereum you can choose that um, just go to your settings go to payment and here you can see different payment coins that you have available to you um, I like to mine Bitcoin right now because it's popular um, the one that you choose is solely up to you and so once you select your payment coin um, the cryptocurrencies that you mine will automatically get converted into the cryptocurrency that you choose so that's one cool feature of Kudo Miner that I really like about it you can withdraw your coins anytime all you have to do is connect a wallet and you can simply withdraw it um, to your your Bitcoin cryptocurrency wallet another exchange or even to um, another person if you want to um, if you're running an organization um, like an internet cafe you can easily transfer funds in and out um, at a moment's notice so if you want to check out Kudamaner, go ahead and check out the link for, that I have for you guys in the description. From there, you guys can go ahead and set up your account and download Kudamaner and Kudamaner OS for your computer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer them um, as they um, appear. And so uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the video thanks for watching guys have a great day